All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Justin Gaethje. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. The reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunter? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31. Gaethje is one inch taller. The reach is identical. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Justin, the highlight, Gaethje. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Nibaga Meda. All right, this is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. The fighters touch him up. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand. Underrated. I mean, it's 
a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Lands a big right hand early. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. If you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, he's got his back. You gotta get your hip out in front of you to isolate it, break the lock. There you go. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. What a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his off hand. He is throwing his entire hit up to his body shot. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and put man with that single strike. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Now be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Gaethje. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Nurmagomedov going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Keiichi. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel. 72 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. All right, single collar tie now. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. And now he's got that tight punch. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage to the body that too. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown movement? Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. 20 seconds to go. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. You gotta be careful. Dip his head when you throw that jab. Look at him, yank the head, and land that beautiful punch with the clinch. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man going to earn his money tonight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out 
but it does excite me for the next round. Round two is here. Khabib Nurmagomedov right. Right. versus Justin, right. the highlight feature. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, that's a big connection for Justin Gaethje and really just loves being in that octagon. I'm not sure anybody loves fighting as much as Gaethje. People don't enjoy being in someone's face, getting punched and landing punches as much as Justin Gaethje. He's right where he wants to be. And he landed the right hand there. Takedown defense holds up. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing. Oh! Boxing. Oh, straight right. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. And they set. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad now. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the back. There he is. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nurmago Meta. Gaethje gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Back to the All right, full guard now, DC. It's for the guy on top. He needs to build posture or just go to the next position. Start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, only able to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, this is some serious pressure from the top finder, Mago Meta. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Gaethje. Well, how about those unofficial numbers? Bottom of your screen, already 159 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. And landing with 67% accuracy, pretty good against Justin Gage. Alright, so oh! 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 Jab by Gaethje. Oh, straight right. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches.
punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermago Meadow. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down, and most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he eats a right hand there. Whoa! Oh, big left hook there. You need to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Gaethje's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Gaethje's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lands the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Sound strike on the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean just called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of the third round. We play the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And when you're taking on lightweight number one contender types and knocking them out like this, just scary to think just how high the ceiling is for this young man. Lightweight is the deepest division in the entire UFC. And if you can rate a topic like this young man has, it tells you how truly special he is. Congratulations on another great performance.